What is up, everybody? It's Sam, and we are back with another episode of Pessimistic at Best, the podcast. And James is back on the pod. Let's go. Hey, James. Hello. Happy Monday. Happy, Happy Memorial Day. Memorial Day. Yeah. Wow. Lest we forget. Yeah. Absolutely. Love celebrating. Um, great holiday. Yeah. Chilling, hanging out. <laughs> what else sort could of, you want? Sort of love not having work. I think that's yeah. maybe the... Yeah, that's Whole point. maybe what I'm most excited about, too. But we got a new grill. We got to try that out tonight. I know. I actually feel like we did a lot of uh, patriotic things this weekend. Yeah, we did. And buying a grill is definitely one of them. For sure. Hung out at the beach. The beach. What else were you thinking? Actually, totally. I can't think of one more. <laughs> um, America's favorite pastime. We went to a Cubs game. Oh, fuck yeah. That's sort that's of like... That's so Memorial Day. Yeah. Was, yeah. Had a, had a Vienna hot dog at the stadium. It was delicious. I was really looking forward to that, actually. Yeah, you talked about that. If we talked about the game, you were like, yeah, I'm hyped for the Vienna hot dog. I'm hyped to get a Vienna hot dog. (laughs) Um, I think that's kind of the whole point of the sport. Yeah, the game itself was cool too and the company was good, but the Vienna hot dog was probably the highlight. Yeah, and I got it with onions naturally as you're supposed to do. Yeah, hot dog with. I actually don't know what a Chicago dog, Chicago style, I don't know what that means. Yeah, I don't know if that just means more stuff on it. Because we were talking about that the other day. Because I think I it, it's a certain, I think it's a certain selection of things. Of I think toppings? it's like pickles or something. Okay. I don't know. We we're should new know here. that. Yeah, right. So we're failing our, our citizen test. We're brand spanking new. <laughs> um, the game was fun though. I It was, it was your first time. Yeah, I got a fucking certificate. <laughs> yeah, no, it was cool. James does have a certificate. We It was very funny because we were on our way out of the stadium and there's like a booth that I think you usually take maybe a child. Yeah, and you guys had like gone to the bathroom and stuff. So we were really late to that. Like everyone was like, Everyone was gone. They were, we were like the up. last people yeah. out of the stadium. <laughs> we had to go underneath the whatever yeah. line thing and they're like, sure. Yeah. And they're like, it's for him. They're like, okay. <laughs> She's like writing James. She does it lowercase and she's like, what's your last name? She did it in all caps. You noticed that too? Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. Arba. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> shout it from the rooftops. <laughs> no, I'm very happy to have my piece of paper signed. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sick. Official. You're official. I'm officially a Wrigley visitor. Nobody can take that away from me. That's so true. <laughs> we would never let them. No, never, never. It was fun. It was always a good time. I don't it really was. know anything about baseball, but we went with um, my friend Zoe and Cooper. So yeah, at one point you did turn to me and say, "What's the score?" Yeah. <laughs> and I was yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you, no, you started off with, "Okay, don't embarrass me." <laughs> You're trying to be real sneaky with it. No bullying. Yeah, but but to your credit. When you look around and you don't know what's going on, yeah. there's like a thousand numbers that there are, are just numbers everywhere. Everywhere. They don't really tell you anything. Yeah. And I mean, ball strikes out is just BSO. It's really hard. I, yeah. I was thinking about that in terms of like game design because like we're working on this tutorial for my game right now. And it's like, I know you don't really need to teach baseball, but for like newcomers who are just like yeah. at the stadium. How they would have no idea what's going on. That was so, me. That was yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> Can confirm. Right. Yeah. We do have a case study. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, I mean, it was like, I, um, don't get me wrong. I'm not there for the game. No, no, you're there for as we I'm discussed. there for the Vienna hot dogs <laughs> and the beer uh, and the company as well. But yeah, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, I didn't know what was going on. No, they don't make it easy. I also have a really hard time following the ball. As mm. someone who oh, has totally. decent eyesight, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't, mm-hmm. I never see where it is in the sky. Yeah, when it pops up and it's like a foul ball, we're in a decent spot for foul balls. Yeah. I get so nervous because I'll be like looking at you guys or on my phone or what eating food and then I'll hear, <gasps> and like everyone is <laughs> like know. around me looking up. And That's sort of my worst word. fear is if it were to come close to me. <laughs> and it's all clouds, or at least for us yeah. what it was. So I was just looking up all white. Scary. I got scared a couple yeah. times for sure. I, I'm surprised that I don't think either of them or at least Cooper commented that he has never caught a foul ball. That, yeah, that uh, that surprised me too. And they've been to a lot of games. He said he's been to a ton. So. Yeah. 
one day. I was hoping we were the lucky charms, but that yeah. didn't happen. Didn't get on the Jumbotron, but, you know. Oh, I was so sure yeah. for Zoe's birthday. I was like, yeah, we'll get on. Yeah. I just have this feeling. <laughs> Kismet. Yeah, it didn't happen. Bummer. <laughs> oh, man. But, yeah, it was fun. Um, night game. Yeah, it was a good time. It it's was, interesting uh, to chilly. kind of <laughs> compare those. It was cold by the end. Yeah, it was yeah, freezing. It was. For sure. <laughs> compare them to what? Okay, so compare those to like a Brewers game because yeah. the vibe is like a little bit different. I feel like Brewers game, you do all the tailgating and mm-hmm. maybe most stadiums are more like in the city. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I think Brewers might be pretty specific. Yeah. It's an all day event. Like you're really totally. just there. It takes like four hours to get out of the parking lot at the yeah. end. Like it's a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we just like we're off and we're on yeah. a street. So that was kind of nice. Jump on your public transportation of choice, whatever you got to do. But yeah, <laughs> although I have heard from Chicagoans that the red line gets a little crazy after the games. Oh, definitely. Yeah. I mean, it was fucking nuts after this White Sox game we yeah. went to. So a uh, fucking Wrigley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was crazy. But yeah, it was fun. We did it have was. Cubs gear, which is sort of funny because I don't even think I own Brewers. Oh my, that's gear. so true. Yeah. Yeah, I don't own a. You might have like a shirt. Yeah. One shirt. That's true. But we had like. We were ready to go for both of us. We were suited up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got a new Velcro hat. You did. Uh, <laughs> I can't really take credit. My outfit is definitely my shirts from Zoe for sure, one hundred percent. Yeah, you couldn't remember, but I think mine was too. I think we thrifted that. Okay, we'll see. Cool jersey. Yeah, worked out. Um, we looked awesome. <laughs> right. So we looked so sick. We looked so sick. Uh, but yeah, it was fun. We lost. Bummer. Yeah. Fuck you, Reds. But that'll happen. No, it was a fun game. Yeah, it was. Yeah. And yeah, we did go to the beach. It was my first time at a Chicago beach. Oh, hell yeah. Um, yeah, I'd only been like once for volleyball, but we yeah. didn't really kick it. So it was really nice to hang out on the beach. I think lesson learned, the beach is cold. I think. Yeah, that wind really gets going. It was like pretty much really cold. Mm-hmm. We got some sun like here and there. So it wasn't, it was a good day. It definitely wasn't like swimsuit. No, like I could have had my pants, like my linen pants on. I would have been comfortable <laughs> in a sweatshirt. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> so. But it is dope. It's just looking around and seeing all the the like skyline behind you kind of thing. It's yeah. A, it's a cool vibe. Huge beach as well. Yeah. Huge for sure. Yeah. Um, we went to Montrose. I don't know mm-hmm. for you Chicagoans. I, ha- I still have, yeah. I haven't gone to the North Ave yet. Me neither. We got the first volleyball game this week. Yes. Intramural sports. My yeah. worst nightmare. Are you going to come watch me? I think so. Come cheer me on. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. I know you don't. I sort of hate that James is in an intramural sport um, mm-hmm. for my Without own. Without you? Yeah. Oh, because you have to go? and well, You don't have to. No, I want to go. Okay. <laughs> it gives me something to do, but just in the sense of now your Wednesdays are taken up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm you sort don't of, like I'm not going to play. Yeah. You don't like when I have plans, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sort of sucks for me. <laughs> huge bummer. That is a huge bummer. I'll work on that. I actually, plans. I think that uh, they'll be fun to attend. Volleyball is a fun sport to watch. Oh, yeah, totally. We'll hit the beer afterwards here, you know, whatever. That's sort of my favorite part of all sporting exactly. events. Yeah. Get a little drinky drink. Totally. It'll be fun. So that'll be nice. But yeah, it's chilly. So I'm, I um lesson learned again. I'll have to. Yeah. Layers. Yeah. Some of the games start at like 730. Like it's going to yeah. be cold. A hundred percent. I mean, when I we, we went to practice the other day, I think that was, yeah, that was at Montrose. Um, before like our season hadn't even started and I was really cold, like the beach itself, like the sand. Yeah. When the sand's cold. And we were, uh, you know, barefoot or whatever. Yeah. I was like, I don't. It'd be kind of messed up if you weren't. Yeah. Like maybe I need some fucking toe shoes that I can run around in Mm. or socks. I hate Jacob the and Alex were in their shoe. socks at the beach. I was yeah, I like, thought that was crazy. That was ballsy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Something about that just, I. Oh, for sure. Makes me a little bit sick to my stomach. Yeah. It makes me want to throw up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I might have to bust that out for volleyball because, like, I understand. It was freezing. I have a feeling it doesn't get warm until, like, the end of summer. Like, even in the yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And, like, it's such a big body of water. Yeah. It, like, I'm sure that saying, water, like, barely heats up. Oh, my God. Yeah. It sounds terrible. Yeah. I can't believe it, they it used to be like that in Milwaukee. Like two months ago. Yeah, right. Yeah, Bradford or Bradley. Same water. Called? Bradford Beach, yeah. Yeah, same water. Same body of water. Yeah, you know how those lakes like go. Like Michigan. <laughs> She's massive. It is kind of crazy to think about that. It is, it is. Yeah. Like those are, yeah. We saw a guy wind surf, wind sail, wind... Kite surf. Kite surf. Yeah, it was so fucking close. sick. Dude, that is so hard. I mean, obviously I've never done it, but... He looked like he had it under control. He did, but... You have to learn sailing, like paragliding, surfing, and then you have to 
be able to, I don't know. This yeah. is amazing. It was very cool. He was very, um, he had a lot of gear on. Yeah. And you like lay it out on the beach. Like he had the whole fucking area watching him. I know. It was funny. He didn't seem to like love the, like we were like, woo. Yeah. When he got out, <laughs> he didn't I don't really think, smile. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he cared for that. So. <laughs> yeah. But uh, it was cool to watch. It was. It was yeah. interesting. <laughs> and the wind was really whipping him around. Oh, yeah, yeah. That he got so way hard. far out there. Oh, my God. I don't really so understand far. how you can, like, kind of control it um, as far as, like, where you're going. I feel like you would just yeah. be at the mercy of the breeze, but. I know. What Impressive. do I know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 we got to get you out there. Yeah, <laughs> You can give totally. us a first-hand report. Yeah, he gets back on the water, and I'm like, hey, can I try next? Oh, my God. I'm sure people ask him that, and it's like. Yeah. This isn't. Right. A paddle board. It literally. <laughs> It takes months to learn. Which, frankly, that's also hard. Hard enough. Yeah, you can't just do that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. We should get paddle boards. That'd be fun. I would da- I would be down. Yeah. And they have those like inflatable ones. Those are pretty cheap. So that'd be cool. Generally speaking. Plus, yeah, yeah where the hell are we going to keep a giant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, two non- giant ones. Yeah, non-inflatable. <laughs> that'd be really fun. I bet even the inflatable ones take up a good amount of room because yeah. they have to have pretty thick, you know, plastic or whatever. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> but it might be worth it. <laughs> I love paddle boarding. I like water. Th- I like some water things. I'm not like mm-hmm. a water sports girl. I mean, you're not a sports Duh. girl in general. Yeah, I'm pretty much anti sport. But you like paddle boarding. You like, like splashing certain- around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what other water? Do you like paddle boarding or like not swimming. pedal pedal boating? That's all right. Yeah. I think it depends. Mm-hmm. If my boat's shaped like a flamingo. Yeah. You know that's how sort can of- you not have fun? It totally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kind of depends on who your partner is as well because. Yeah, true. Um, I'm kind of trying to, mm-hmm. you know, I don't want to pick up the slack. I'm trying yeah. to relax. What are your thoughts on canoeing? I like canoeing. It's been a long time since I've done it. It makes me sore. Yeah, for um, sure. It's fun, though. Trent had the kayaks that were inflatable. And those look fun. Yeah. Yeah. Kayaking is fun. It's, like, even harder, though. Is it's it? Just all, I mean, I, I don't know, actually. Just you. Man, I'm talking out of my ass, but I'm thinking about it being harder because it's all you. Yeah. You don't have, like, a second to chill. Nobody's... Picking up the slack for you. I, I always struggle to get into kayaks. That's pretty hard. Oh, yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. yeah. Sort of um, a, a sort of a sport in and of itself. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Getting into canoes is not quite as hard. No. You got your own little seat. They're sort of open. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's also places here where you can rent them, although I haven't seen that as much. In, in mm-hmm. Madison, you can rent a boat. Yeah. At any body of water that you come close to. Yeah, the two. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's Wingra. Oh, that's true. That's true. Would also be down to like rent a pontoon. I have been missing, Ooh. like I want to go to a lake. Yeah. I yeah, feel like I want to hang out on a lake. I guess we did that. It's different. I'm talking well, yeah, the we're Wisconsin think, Yeah, we're kind. thinking like Wisconsin cottage lakes. Yeah. That's a very specific lake. True. <laughs> yeah. We were at a very big lake. But yeah. Different. Completely different vibe. Yeah. Turns out nice. it's cold there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. What is this? <laughs> so yeah kind of like a cabin weekend i'm craving that mm-hmm. go balls to the walls yeah grill out have some s'mores totally Ooh, just s'mores. fuck it up yeah campfire <laughs> although campfires do really stick with you that smell it's hard yeah to get out. yeah i remember covid man you just like nobody could go anywhere all we without. did was campfire yeah and you just smell like it for months and months i think like the majority of my clothes smelled like that that year that's actually yeah crazy yeah that was a weird time mm-hmm. everything was around every time we campfire. hung out with your parents we it was campfire yeah yeah everything was a bonfire everyone crazy. was like you guys want to hang out was, it's like, was it. yeah, like bonfire so desperate to see people i know the human condition <laughs> the lengths that we'll go to <laughs> oh I am excited to be a grill owner. I feel that's pr- I'm proud of that. Hell yeah. I don't uh, see myself manning the grill sure. per se, but I would love to enjoy yeah. grilled food. Hands on your hips, glancing over at me grilling. That's yeah. the American dream right there. Totally. <laughs> I'm looking forward to participating. Got our first propane tank. Like, yeah. holy shit. Big deal. 26. That's us. Yeah. That's well, you're about to be 27. Yeah. ASAP. Are you feeling excited? I guess so. Now that I have a propane, yeah, <laughs> propane gas grill. That is sort of a big... That was kind of the big... The next step. Yeah, the last thing on the checklist. <laughs> There's nothing yeah, really I'm excited. sort of cool about turning 27. I like the sound of that age. Do you? For some reason. It seems close to 30, which is a little bit spooky. What, did, what was your last sentence? You Was that positive or negative? I just said there's nothing particularly exciting. Not oh, in a bad way, said. but there's I, no yeah, like 
Yeah, right. You know, cool thing that you can do now. Yeah. I don't know. I like the number 27. Interesting. Yeah. I should because I love the number seven, but 27 just doesn't quite do it for me. Divisible by three and nine. It's a good one. Mm, Yeah, I don't. I'm sort of not really in a math girl. Yeah. Well, (laughs) what is your, what's one thing you learned this year? Oh, shit. In my 26th year on this planet? Indeed. Um, I don't know. Like... I feel like I've known this for, I, you know this, even in like high school, that things never like slow down. But I feel like coming here a year in Chicago, our first like big move, like shit just is n- it never stops. Yeah. Like you really have to, you know, learn to dance in the storm, as they say, <laughs> 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 which is corny, but it's true. I don't know. Yeah. It is speedy. Yeah. Life's going real quick. Yeah. Like from 2021 20, to here. The last, up. the last notable age, maybe yeah. you know. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, it's been been a crazy ride. Well, twenty five. I feel like quarter of a century. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty six. Have health you had insurance. a Have you had a you quarter did. life crisis yet? Um, probably. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, you know, in silent. <laughs> you would never know. <laughs> Moving in silence. <laughs> yeah. Love that for you. Um. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What's one thing you're looking forward to for 27? Dang, we're doing the rose early. No. The rose, bud, and thorn. It's uh, 27? Yeah. I don't know. Just this year. This year, I'm excited for our first full Chicago summer, I guess. It's off to a good start. Yeah. <laughs> we, we were joking the other day that, or I was, that it's already over. So I need to stop those jokes. <laughs> well, I have been getting like really sad lately. And I feel yeah. like some of that is just anticipating like how quickly summer is going to go by. It's going to be And then you like ruin it for yourself. Yeah. And it's, that's dumb. We were like taking... It's a, literally just started. Memorial yeah. Day weekend is kind of the yeah. first kickoff, we were, if like, you will. We're like taking count of the different weekends we have planned. Everything is booked. Yeah. Well, yeah. Through like July at least. Yeah. It's kind of fucked. So see you in August. Exactly. Yeah. Just kidding. You're kind of stuck with me the whole summer. It's yeah. Gonna I was awesome. going to say the plans are like us. So. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. I, I am excited though. I feel like we have tons of... I'm. It's, like, weird to not be in the place with our parents, so I'm excited Mm. to, like, see them different times throughout the summer. Yeah, yeah. Um, We've started planning some of those events already, although you conveniently seem to keep forgetting all of them, so... I do. We should work on that. I know. You'll tell me this plan, and I'll be like, oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah. No. (laughs) Terrible memory. But, yeah, I'm excited to bop up to Madison. Yeah. That'll be fun. I think we'll have to spend a little bit of time there. Madison in summer is awesome, although everyone says the same about here. Yeah. No, I, like, already miss it, honestly. Same. Like, don't have the union to go to. I know. The two I feel like that's where I got a lot of my, like, brat. I've been craving a brat. for sure. And so now we had to buy a grill because we don't have the union. I feel like that's how I got my brat fix. Yeah. As you're listening to this over under, if we actually build the grill tonight and cook brat. And by we... (laughs) True. That means you. That is me, yeah. Yeah. Online is saying it takes like three hours to put this shit together, so. Three hours? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they just never done Legos before, so we'll see. Apparently, it doesn't come with a manual. Like, you just have a bunch of uh, spare parts and you have to, like, look at it. So, I'm just going to, I mean, people, like, say that shit, but it's like, did you look it up? I'm sure sure it's online. Yeah. Did you watch a YouTube video about it? That's where people Use the are. tools at your yes. fingertips. Yeah, sort people of. People aren't thinking like me. <laughs> no, they really, no one can keep up with you, James. No, you know, you just got to watch a YouTube video on your set. Something else I want to get into that I feel like is super like summertime. Mm-hmm. Like now that we have all this space, we have a grill, we have a backyard. I want to like plant some plants. Oh, I want yeah, like a yeah. potted garden. Yeah. Um, But sort of, I have this, I can't, it's hard to justify spending money on that as well. I yeah. don't know why. Well, we've been spending a lot of money. I mean, we just kind of balled out at Target and got this new grill. I mean, it's true what they say about you can't go to Target without spending at least 100 bucks. No, yeah, it is, it's fucked up. And this keeps happening where it's like each month I'm like, okay, I should be good on spending random hundreds of dollars I on know. random things. Yeah. And then every month ends. rolls around. It never ends. Yeah. That's part of the storm. Yeah. Just <laughs> yeah. randomly spending hundreds Dance of dollars. In it. <laughs> I know it's I tough. have been spending a ton of money and it's actually crazy because out of all of the years of my life so far, yeah. I think this is the year I bought the least amount of clothes. Oh yeah, I can attest to that. Being yeah. with you for, you know, a decade. And it's sort of driving me nuts because like where's all my money going? I'm mm-hmm. making more money than I ever have in my whole life, which yeah. is sort of natural for growing older and getting promotions yes. and stuff. <laughs> uh and I don't know. I don't know where it's all going. I mean yeah. our rent is higher. I keep buying shit for the house. Yeah, you do. 
And I like need to plan things to look forward to or else I'm I'll go nuts. Yeah, I mean we went to fucking London, like Yeah. Yeah, we've had expenses. But this is definitely the first time where I'm not like grabbing packages from the front porch yeah. like <laughs> yeah. when what did you order this? this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little does he know no i'm just kidding i like really haven't been no it's been good yeah, yeah. Well, well except for all the you've been going like lost girls and some vintage stuff that we pick up but that's like one item at a time i'm not yeah. going crazy yeah you would do like little hauls from all these bullshit stores yeah. online so which i think that's a part of it too i used to just online shop so much more and yeah. every time i would get I would get those giant orders mm-hmm. and like I'd like maybe two of the things and yeah. like I, I'm i terrible about doing returns. I just don't get how you can online shop that much. I'm super against So I don't do it shopping. anymore. Yeah, true enough. Or if I do it, I do only am doing it from brands that I like. Yeah. You know, that I know. But even these like vintage pickups, like those are things you've never tried on. Like that's the craziest thing to me is like buying $100 items that you haven't seen in a mirror against your body so far none of them have been a miss no they've been working out but (laughs) like i bought one pair of shoes and they fit and i'm like fuck yeah yeah i I can't test my luck anymore (laughs) i need new shoes yeah i'm like trying to get into sneakers i'm i'm not sure (laughs) have you said that on this podcast before because i think i think i have have. i'm trying to get into sneakers i'm not sure what that's going to turn out to be Mm mm-hmm I love that it's like a planned journey for you. I need though. sneakers. Yeah. I need flat shoes. Well, I love a heel. Yeah, you do. Um, and something about this haircut, I have a hard time even like... Mm-hmm. I'd like to dress more feminine because my hair is really short. And yeah. so like heels help that. But like sometimes mm-hmm. we just need to be, you know, mobile. Balance it all out. We yeah. need to be agile. We need to be on the go. Mm-hmm. So I need a sneaker for that. Um, I also, I'm really struggling with sandals. I don't know what it is. I already hated, you know, I'm not really a short girl. I don't like summer clothes. Yeah, you don't. And I've, I've always been fine with sandals, but within the last couple of years, I can't seem to find a style of sandal that I like. I look in my closet mm-hmm. and I see my sandals and I hate them and want to throw them out the window. Yeah, I'm also anti-sandal yeah. pretty much in general for myself. Like I yeah. just can't seem to find good ones. Yeah. Those those chacos that Evan had that I wore for a second, Yeah. I might just copy those. Those are pretty much perfect. Yeah. Because they got the little strap on the back. I just need something that's actually going to stay on my foot. Yeah. All these like fucking flip-flops or even Birkenstocks. Flip-flops are no, absolutely yeah. not. Even Birkenstocks don't stay on my feet that well. Granted, mine are like two sizes too big, but... Birkenstocks for me, just I don't like how they look on my feet. I can't pull off yeah. like the Jesus Santa look. I like see myself in the mirror and I'm like, this something about it, it's not right. We were on a walk the other day and you like looked down and you're like, oh. and I was like, what? <laughs> and you're like, I don't know about these. And I'm like, what? And you're like, my they're shoes. like they're like the most basic shoe and everybody wears them, but they yeah. don't look right on me. And I think it's because I have, I think it's because my legs are so skinny. Mm. Like, and then my feet are long. Like, I have long, skinny feet and skinny <laughs> little stick legs. And I, it just it does makes my feet look massive. Like, I huh. just don't. Yeah. Something about it. I don't know. It's not quite right. I think I think it's in your head. <laughs> I've always felt that way. I've had that same pair of Birkenstocks since high school. Uh, yeah, I think it's in your head. I think you're set. I think those Birkenstocks look good on you. They're like my house slippers. Yeah, there you go. Which is fine. Yeah. That's a great use. It works. I prefer them if I have a sock on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Socks and sandals kind of girl. Yeah. But I do like chacos. I didn't know that you could get chacos without the toe strap. Yeah. I've never so, had them. But that's sick. You have chacos and they have that little and toe strap. That toe sounds strap. uncomfortable. It is. It like yeah. cuts off the circulation in my toes. Or I have to literally have the sandal like almost completely yeah. loosened. That reminds me of like hoodies with the thumb hole. It's like, just don't do that. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Nobody does. Yeah. I do actually have some running clothes like that. Yeah, maybe for something more sporty, where it's like, sure, an extra inch of yeah. protection around your hand might <laughs> yeah. be nice in cold weather. Well, I think Chacos are like supposed to be a sports sandal. They're for like mm. hiking and stuff. Yeah, that's fair. That's true. But they're also for style. Exactly. <laughs> they're also for vibes. <laughs> yeah, and like Tevas, that's another. Yeah. I like sandals like that, but that also like isn't like a sandal I can dress up. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. At least not me personally. So when you're talking about sandals, you're missing your Report 51s, the classic sandal. Well, and yeah, I loved those sandals. I loved those sandals so fucking much. Um, <laughs> even those I feel like now are probably not really in style. Sure. But I think I'd still wear them. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Those were just a great sandal. Yeah. Your signature. 
I literally bought three pair of those sandals. Yeah. Technically, I bought the first one, but you know, you I picked did pick them out. Them out. <laughs> James bought me this pair of sandals. They were from DSW, so they were already like a discount sandal. Mm, yeah. So they probably were initially at like a fucking Nordstrom or something. And then um, that's so funny that you remember the brand. They were report sandals and they were black and gold and they were so cute. Um, and the first time that you bought them, I think it was for my birthday. Yeah. I was just like with you. Yeah. I was like, Hey, I'm going to go buy your shoes. Yeah. And come with me. <laughs> Lazy. <laughs> A little bit. Um, but that's okay. I like picking out my own stuff. Yeah. And I love those sandals, wore them to shreds, literal shreds. Yeah. Yeah. They were falling apart. And then the second pair, I think that I got on like, I think I got on eBay. Oh, really? So at this point, I'm like really struggling to find these or like Poshmark or something. Yeah. I think it went DSW, Poshmark, then eBay. I was going to say, yeah, that makes more sense. And then by the end, I couldn't find, I think, because they're a very thin sandal and mm-hmm. I wore them all the time. So they yeah. did get literally completely ruined. Yeah. And <laughs> I emailed the brand to see if they had. <laughs> They left. I remember that, yeah. And they never responded to me. <laughs> I've only emailed two establishments like that in my life, and one of them was the Report Sandals, mm-hmm. and the other was Panera. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> because I emailed Panera because <laughs> I had terrible luck at Panera. They took away two yeah. of my signature staple turkey sandwich items. Both it's of them tough. were turkey sandwiches. Oh, really? Yeah. What yeah. were they? One of them was like that turkey, um, oh my God, what was it called? It had like a little like coleslaw vibe to it. Okay. Um, Kayla would remember. Yeah. We used to always get it. It was one of my favorite sandwiches there and Mm -hmm. it had a really good sauce. Yeah. And then the second one, they took that away and then weren't making it anymore. But for a while, you could still ask for it because they still had all the ingredients. Oh, nice. So if the worker was like nice, they would make it for you. Yeah. And then after that, I uh, was gravitating towards like their turkey apple situation. Okay. But it was a cold sandwich. Both of these were cold sandwiches. And now yeah. the only turkey sandwich they have is hot. Is my turkey sandwich. Oh, I, you get that yeah, sandwich? Yeah, the turkey bacon. <laughs> oh my God, I don't like that sandwich. <laughs> it's funny we're talking about Panera because we haven't had it in a long time and we yeah. just drove past it. So Did it's on we? the brain. Yeah. Oh, that must I be I was why. like, damn, I kind of want some Panera. <laughs> I actually feel like I had Panera not that long ago because, yeah. Um, yeah, I had it at the uh, at the Oasis. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. That's fair. But, yeah. I know. We don't go to Panera here as often. I don't even... No. It was pretty close to us at our last place. Yeah. So we were like, yeah, I can just drive by and grab it. Panera you- for me was always a... Like after an appointment, and I also haven't yeah. been going to those. Yeah, as we know. As we know. <laughs> <laughs> you emailing them almost inspired me to do the same for Olive Garden, which is yeah. like an equally funny yeah. restaurant to like give enough of a shit about. And I don't like. We went there like yeah twice a year, maybe back yeah. in Madison, but they got rid of the lobster cannelloni, mm-hmm. and holy fuck, was that good? Yeah, sad day. Yeah, I'll go to like actual legit. Italian restaurants and try to get like dupes of it. Yeah. And I'm like, not the same. Not the same. <laughs> yeah, I should holler at Olive Garden. <laughs> okay, people pointers. shit on Olive Garden, but Olive Garden gets the job done. It does. It's good for what it is. You yeah. can't go into it with high expectations. Oh, for sure. But when you want Olive Garden, honestly, a nice Italian restaurant isn't going to cut it. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. It's like McDonald's. Yeah. 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 100%. Yeah. You're getting so, that, uh, the fucking, yeah. I'm blanking on the word, the salt, not salt, but, uh, Mm. Anyway, <laughs> next. Uh, yeah, next <laughs> the chicken gnocchi. That soup is really good. Yeah, they the do soup it is good. good. They do a good job. I mean, the breadsticks. Are you kidding? Yeah, damn. And I mean, they make a basic salad, but they toss those pepperoncinis in there. It's delicious. Oh yeah, and enough uh, shredded cheese on top to yeah. make it worthwhile. Heaven on earth, love that place for real. And a mint at the end of your meal. Oh yeah, not a mint guy, but I respect oh, it. Chocolate mint. Yeah, that's not a combination that you like. Yeah, no. I sort, of, I sort of love it. It's bad. It's pretty bad. I have York peppermint patties. Actually, I think I ate them all. Mm-hmm. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> love a treat. But yeah, so I, I never got a response back from Panera either, I don't think. Or they may have responded to me and just been like, sorry. Mm-hmm. We won't be. That sounds more right. Addressing this. Yeah. Really. <laughs> One of those responded. Yeah. Maybe report. It was not report. Report no. didn't respond. Um. Yeah. R.I.P. to that sandal. Great sandal. Love that yeah. shoe. I was very loyal to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A few summers in a row. 
And like, I just don't know what it is. There are so many different sandals out now, but I feel like either they're all healed, which is, I like that style, but then you have to get the right ones. Or yeah. I've tried to buy a couple of the like chunky mm. sandals. Yeah. And those aren't, I'm, I'm not, I don't know. Like raised platform, you mean? Yeah. And yeah. like, you know, kind of like thick black. Okay. And I, I got a couple from Aloha's, which is a brand of boots that I love. Yeah. But I'm not sort of loving their sandals, or at least those. They also do a lot of heeled sandals. Okay. I haven't bought any yet. Um, hmm. Maybe I, I will. I have faith you'll find the right ones. Thanks. Yeah. Well, maybe the same goes for you. I do see you True. in a pair of Chacos. I think that that could work with your... Yeah, those are rocking. Yeah. I think I'll just text Evan. Hey, totally. send me the link. Totally. Game over. I feel like maybe you should get a different color. Yeah, copy them exactly. I think. Hey, can you be. send me the link in the colorway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think maybe that would be something that you should do. Okay, a deal. <laughs> but yeah, otherwise, I mean, I just, I want to buy clothes. I want to buy summer outfits. I yeah. love um, sort of shopping. The restraint you're showing is impressive, to Thanks. say the least. Thank you so much. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> um, I have been, I think most of my money has been going into this home. Yeah, yeah. Which like is... I like spending money on it. There's just like every fucking week we're like, oh, we should buy this. We mm -hmm. should buy this. So we did buy patio furniture for our balcony. Oh, yeah. And Samantha loves it. I'm, I hate it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, that's OK. So I've been I had been searching for weeks. And I don't know <laughs> what it is on Facebook Marketplace, but the patio patio furniture literally. Yeah. Just goes like it's that. Gone. It's yeah. gone. Like you have to be ready to pick it up. The second you message the person. Yeah, the guy we picked it up from said the same thing. Yeah. He's like, I didn't know how popular these would be. I know. Well, and then he quite literally raised the price. Yeah. Um, Tim. Tim. Which is a hilarious thing to do. Um, hey, he's on his grind. We can't really say anything. And Tim and I had mutual friends, which was also funny. <clears throat> yeah, right. He reached out. So I messaged him about his chair, his Facebook marketplace. I'm, I'm in too deep. Um, and I messaged him about his chairs, and he asked me if I went to Mizzou, which... I did not. I went to Madison uh, for college, but I do have some friends who went there, namely Abby, mm -hmm. um, my friend from study abroad, as some of you may remember from previous episodes. Um, the way that that woman is just coming back into my life this year, it's crazy. Yeah. And so whatever, we kind of got to chatting about that. And I think it's even funnier that he asked to raise the price after having that personal connection. Because I think at that point, I'd just be like, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was like $25. Yeah. Tim, if you listen to this, I respect it. But yeah, <laughs> we did pay. I yeah. mean, we were like, sure. <laughs> so 200 bucks for the patio furniture, whatever. Thanks, Tim. You know, I guess the Abbey discount didn't really apply. No, <laughs> no, it didn't. Um, oh, no. Hilarious. But yeah, and then I messaged my friend Abby and Tim, you never you never did Abby's taxes. You never responded. Tim, the accountant. Man, it's tough out here. So funny. Yeah, my friend Abby was like, yeah. I, I messaged her immediately and I was like, do you know this person named Tim? He says he knows you and I'm picking up patio furniture from his house. And she was like, yes, I do know him. And she was like, that's so funny. I literally asked him to do my taxes this year and he never ever responded to me. <laughs> <laughs> Which it's also hilarious because in the 20 minutes that we were at his house, yeah, he did comment on the fact that he thought he chose the wrong career. Oh, yeah. So Yeah, he's like, this girl's hit me up. Like, I don't want to fucking do anyone's <laughs> taxes. <laughs> so funny. Oh, no. But love I a Facebook marketplace pickup. Um, there's something oh, yeah. so funny about the amount that you get to know that person. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. It's like, because you have to set up everything. Yeah, that's so true. You have to set up everything where you're like, where do you live? Yeah. Like, we're doing all this like communication mm -hmm. just for like two seconds. And like you also get there and depending on like, you know, it's different if it's just like a quick handoff. Yeah. But when it's like large pieces of furniture you're moving out of someone's home, you have to strike up a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, exactly. Like so it's I'm like, taking so... 10 minutes for us to even get it next to the <laughs> yeah. car. Tim, what do you do for work? This time, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this time we had to do a literally two trips. So. Yeah. Yeah, we had some time. We did. Came back, talked some more. I think Tim kind of wants to hang, to be honest. I'd kick it with Tim. Yeah. yeah he's a chill guy. He was chill. Yeah. He was funny. He was like... He was moving, um, so Tim, wish you the best. I think he was moving this weekend. Oh, yeah. So. Memorial Day weekend to crazy. move is kind of an interesting idea. True. It sounds hard. Yeah, it sounds like maybe not the best way to celebrate. Maybe, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Well, well, should we rose in a thorn? Let's do it. 
Um, you want me to go first, I assume. I'll go first for you this time. Okay. How about when I'm on, I can go first. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> so you can be the star of the end of the show? I mean, if you don't have yours. I think I can do them. You want to okay. do like this weekend or? Today. Oh. Today. Let's do this weekend. It was a long weekend. This day. This day. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. My rose was, I mean, I want it to be the grill, but we haven't like really accomplished having a grill yet you but know it's in our midst it's like it's in a box in the back i guess we have a grill <laughs> um yeah sure the grill and then my thorn probably just being really tired afterwards like we do these pretty basic tasks and then we're just like pooped i'm like what is wrong <laughs> with us yeah. Like I was ready to go to sleep after fucking carrying one propane tank I up will a say, flight of stairs. We haven't been drinking coffee mm-hmm. on the weekends. And I feel like maybe that has something to do with it. Yeah. I, I mean, don't think I'm, that I like need it. Yeah. I don't even drink coffee every day in the week. But yeah. Mm-hmm. That could be attributing. I feel contributing. like it's what I'm blaming it on for at least myself. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And then Rose... Bud. 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 <laughs> I'm looking forward to building the grill. Even totally. if it's not today, the first time using that will be fun. We need to practice. Yeah, before the party. Yeah, yeah 100%. so we sort of have no choice but to build it this week. Yeah, seriously. It'll happen. Um. Okay, good Your answers. Turn. Oh, thanks. I think for me, my rose today, Um. the last couple days I've been waking up so tired. Mm. And today I felt refreshed when That's i woke good. up this morning oh yeah um james also made me an amazing breakfast thank you oh you made an well we we both did i made the smoothie a really good smoothie i blended thank you for that yeah, yeah. yes <laughs> yeah. no it was <laughs> it's just so funny because i haven't been doing <laughs> it's actually hilarious because you really liked this one <laughs> and, <laughs> and i just knew you would because i haven't been doing like the berry mixture of the I've been doing more like the strawberry banana mixture Okay. (laughs) in most of the smoothies, which is my preference. But I know that James loves the berries, and I put the berries in there today, and he has not shut up about how good (laughs) it was. Did you put enough like spinach and stuff too? Yeah, I I couldn't fit quite as much in there today, but there was spinach in there, yeah. Because sometimes it'll be like mostly green. Do you even feel like it tastes like that? I feel like I never taste it. The spinach? Yeah. When it's green, yeah. Oh, I see. I really don't even. I feel this like one was like purple, banana. and I was like, "Yeah, yeah it's yeah. mostly sugar. This shit is hitting." <laughs> ah, that's funny. That well, yeah, funny. delicious breakfast. We also had some cinnamon rolls. Um, so we sort of did it up, not to yeah. brag, but breakfast burrito was hitting. Great breakfast. Um, and we did sit out on Tim's patio furniture to enjoy that meal. So the thing is, like, she doesn't like how it looks. Well, it's just like we kind of got it up there, and I, I don't know if it's right for the space. It's really comfy, though. I'll say that. It is comfortable. It's also like that plastic type of wicker, which I'm not yeah, it's very in love with. Cheap vibes. Yeah. But we got it at a good price. Well. Even with the markup. Even with the markup, yeah. <laughs> 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 Literally. Oh, no. So, you know, it's tough. But, um, yeah, so that's my rose. Okay. I would say... Thorn. Yeah. Um, I sort of, I think my thorn, anytime that I find myself in a Home Depot. Oh. That's sort of, <laughs> that's sort of just not, I yeah. think maybe a space where I feel, um, yes, comfortable or welcome or yeah. important. Equipped to do your best. Yeah. Yeah. So I sort of don't love it there. And I've actually felt that way for a really long time. Like my dad, hmm. my dad hated going on errands by himself. Like, he hated going to the store. My mom did most of our grocery shopping. Like, he just did not... He was not an errand guy. Yeah. But he would always have to go to Home Depot because what the fuck is my mom going to do at a place like that? Yeah. And so when I was a kid, I would always get roped in to going with him to Home Depot. But he likes Home Depot. Yeah, but he doesn't like going alone. He doesn't like going anywhere alone. Okay. And so, perfect. We'll fucking drag the kid along to Home Depot. And I would always go. And I just remember being in there and always just feeling like it dries my eyes out. There's like (laughs) fucking dust flying all over the place. Like, 
whatever you call that. What is that stuff called? Like the sawdust? Yeah, sawdust. <laughs> I, I just like, you can't right. see. I feel like I'm choking. Like I just get in there and it's like, ugh, this is. I haven't heard this before, so this is funny. This but is you've is also talked about how you me. used to love going onto the work sites that your dad was on when they were building houses. Yeah. You, you liked that, but not the store. Well, so whenever we would do that, we'd stop at the gas station first and I would get candy. Oh, okay, okay. And all the guys he worked with were nice to me and stuff. So that was like fun. But yeah, I'm not really a home deep. I don't like that. That's fucking it's hilarious. It's not a happy place for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just back in there getting a little bit of PTSD. Yeah, truly. <laughs> Man, I'm sorry to contribute to your thorn. It was okay. Yeah, we got the we got the propane and the, the drill bit, so. And I think it could be a place where I eventually buy some plants. Uh, however, I yeah. was told that today I wasn't allowed to do that because we had popsicles melting in the car. That's right. So. I was right. Next so. time. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and my bud, something to improve upon for next time. Or something to look forward to. Or something to look forward to. So true. So true. Um, I am looking forward to, to whipping that grill out, seeing Hell what yeah. happens. Um, becoming grill masters. That's going to be epic. Grill master, uh, grill master's wife. Grill master supervisor. <laughs> supervisor. <laughs> I'll be the manager of the grill master. <laughs> um, and... Now that Misha's here, for those of you who can't see, Misha's come to join us on the couch. I'm also looking forward to getting his mats out. I think that's something I'm looking forward to. It's sort of been a stress over the last few days. You know, it's tough because we used to be able to, like, touch it at all. And if you weren't, like, messing with it too long, then it wouldn't be a big deal. But now that we've been trying to get it off, have you noticed that, like, if you do it for, like, if you touch it at two all, seconds, he's pissed, he's pissed at you. Yeah. yeah, we. this is my first time... So Misha is a long haired cat and he, he's gotten really matted because we've been recently letting him outside, um, per his request yes. and <laughs> at his order, <laughs> yeah, quite literally, <laughs> he's been like rolling around a lot in the concrete, um, and he's getting really matted. And then of course I did the thing where you look on the internet, um, to see if your cat's, you know, going to die. Yeah. And, and he is. And they said yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad at hair. He's dying. Yeah. So now, so we did order um, a full, like, cat grooming kit. And yes. we have big, huge goals. But every time that we try, um, it sort of becomes this, like, awful thing where he hates us for the next 30 minutes. We'll see if it, like, works well. But so far, it seems pretty legit. And it was, like, 35 bucks. And we got like a yeah. really nice heavy duty comb, a razor, and yeah. scissors. I was pretty pleased. So if you need so. that Amazon link, yeah, exactly. You know who to call. I'll get you the referral, and I can get point oh two cents. <laughs> but anyways, that's anyways, that. Happy Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day! Thank you for joining me on this podcast, James. Love you so much. You are so welcome. And thank you all for listening. Um, I'm obsessed with you guys. I appreciate you. I love you. We're nearing the end of this season. Mm -hmm. And we're getting real close to 100 episodes. Pretty fucking sick. Which is crazy. That's a, that's a big feat, you know? Safe to say that I have, um, you know, a lot to say. Yeah, right. Yeah. You got a lot of shit to talk. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's a big so milestone. That's, that's sort of exciting. something that I've been doing um, <laughs> for 100 episodes. For 100 episodes, yeah, talking, yeah. saying a lot. Um, but it's great. And I love you guys. And thank you for listening. And I'll be back again next week to chat with you so soon. Bye. Another cathartic convo in the books. I feel better. How about you? Thank you so much for listening. Now I just want to jump on here and say, don't forget to follow and or subscribe to the pod on your favorite streaming platform for new episodes every single week because I know you can't get enough of me. Additionally, if you want to gain access to exclusive episodes and lots of other goodies, join our Patreon and support the pod with your hard-earned American dollars. 
dollars. You can find the link in our show notes, or you can also visit us at patreon.com slash pessimistic at best. And of course, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at pessimistic at best. And if you're as obsessed with me as I am with you, you can find me at Sam Georgeson on all platforms. And last but not least, I'd like to give a special shout out to my podcast editor and producer, the love of my life, James Arbae, whom I literally could not do this without. So thank you, James. I love you so much. And thank you guys for joining me again this week. I love you too. And I cannot wait to chat with you again soon.